In 2022, Apple introduced the crash detection feature to its iPhone 14 lineup, as well as Apple Watch models to help users ask for help in emergency situations. And while the feature has been helpful, the negativity surrounding it has increased on a daily basis. Not good, not good. With several false alarms being sent out in the USA this month, this might well be the end of the crash detection feature of the iPhone 14. Wow, why so soon? Join us in this video for all the details. False alarms. Once again, an emergency center in the United States has been flooded with emergency alerts from users of Apple's crash detection feature. In Colorado, the Summit County has confirmed that they have received several emergency notifications from skiers in the area. But as has been the case in other places, they realized that nobody was involved in any emergency upon their arrival. They tricked us again, huh? They won't respond to you when you first start talking because I don't even think they knew that they did it. But on callback, they're usually like, Oh, I'm sorry, I was skiing. Everything's fine, officer indicated. According to multiple reports, about 71 false alarms were sent in December from skiers using the Apple crash detection feature on their iPhone or on their Apple Watch. This is similar to incidents in Utah, which happened around October of last year, where the emergency team was receiving about five Apple crash detection alerts per day. Why would someone do that? In the case of Utah, most of the alerts were as a result of roller coasters. And in that situation too, none was found to be in trouble. Similarly, the British Columbia Emergency Center also went through such a patch and were one of the first to request Apple to make significant changes to the feature on the iPhone 14 lineup and the Apple Watch models. More on that shortly. Next up, we will talk about how such false alerts are impacting various emergency centers. But even before that, make sure to hit the subscribe button to get premium news and updates on all Apple products. We got you covered. What are the consequences? Without a doubt, the feature has been of good help to several people since its introduction. However, it does appear that it might be doing more harm than good at the moment. Obviously, emergency centers have no option than to attend to such distress calls. The interim director of Summit County 911 Center, Trina Dummer, confirmed this assertion to the Colorado Sun indicating that we are not in the practice of disregarding calls. The disadvantage, however, is that emergency centers are now under immense financial pressure. One officer confirmed that these calls involve a tremendous amount of resources, from dispatchers to deputies to ski patrollers. And I don't think we've ever had an actual emergency event. This claim has been backed by the, the British Columbia team, which indicates that each operation cost the department as much as $10,000. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. There is also a school of thought which believes that with emergency centers attending to almost every distress, there arises the possibility of not attending to those who might really need the services of the center. Will this be the end? Despite the aforementioned effects of the feature, some of the stakeholders are quite optimistic that the crash detection should be maintained. Somebody could ski and hit a tree and be knocked unconscious and not be visible to other skiers said Summit County Dispatch Center Supervisor Susie Butterfield. We do not want you to turn the feature off. We would rather have you be safe. We don't mind taking that call because if something really did happen, we want to be able to get to you. While this might sound like music to the ears of Apple, the most important question will be how sustainable this can be. Initially, the false alarms were being sent out by roller coasters, but recently skiing has been added to the list as well as snowboarding. There remains the possibility that there are other causes that may not have been figured out yet. In fact, the British Columbia has asked for some changes to be made, including making it an opt-in feature to eliminate chances of false alerts. Dwight Yochim, a senior manager of British Columbia Search and Rescue Association, said, I don't think they accounted for the people in British Columbia who love the outdoors and go into the backwoods and literally crash through the backwoods. Whether it is on mountain bikes, whether it is on skis, it clearly doesn't take a whole lot to trigger it. Perhaps the expectation is that Apple will make some changes on the feature when it releases the iPhone 15 lineup and the Apple Watch 2. Speaking of the Apple Watch, there are some fascinating features you need to know about and we've covered it in our next video. Hope you enjoy watching. See you another time.